What's up guys? Left Burst here and today I have a Beyblade battle between Fubuki and Fubuki's old combo when he was a kid. Now we know Fubuki's old combo, it's Jaeger Yeager Seal down Unite because like in the last episode of Beyblade vs God, you know how like little baby Fubuki came up and challenged Shu? So yeah, this was his combo, Yeager Yeager Seal down Unite. And not gonna lie, the combo is kind of bad. Like it comes with down, which is a defense type, Jaeger Yeager Seal, which is a, a stamina type, and uh, Unite, which is a balance type. So the combo is kind of all over the place. It's funny how it used to be like a balance type Beyblade, but then when he went to chose it uh, in chose that he has a defense type Beyblade. I don't know why. I kind of wish he kept a balance type Beyblade because I really like balance types. Anyway, let's get this battle started. Of course, the better Fubuki is probably uh, the Chosey version, but like I don't know. I don't know. Let's get this battle started. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, three. And of course, he jumped out the same. So maybe he's not the better Fubuki. Then he just lost. Anyway, so I recently just rewatched the finale of the Beyblade vs God anime, and it's like it's pretty hype. Oh my... Grr! It's... <laughs> this is making me low-key mad, guys. 3, 2, 1, go. 3, 3 2, 1, go. Shoot. Anyway, so yeah, I've been... I recently been watching the... Oh! Oh, counter break! Counter break! Where's that? I'm gonna watch. I don't know. That was sick. It was like in the middle. Then uh, Emperor Boreas gave it, hit Jaeger, and it went around like crazy. That's why I love you, Unite. It's been so fun. Anyway, like I was saying, I was recently watching the new Beyblade vs. or not the new, but the finale of Beyblade vs. God. In the last episode, um, I thought he had he was getting one because it looked like he had more stamina. But obviously, he's a chosen too. So yeah, the newest uh, or not the newest. What am I saying? The last episode, the last battle, Vault versus uh Shu. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. I forgot how hyped that was. That battle is so good. It's debatably the best Beyblade battle in the series. Maybe I'll make a video on that later in the future. The top five favorite uh Beyblade burst battle. So yeah, honestly, number one for me would probably actually I'll save that for the future. But yeah, that's probably like the best Beyblade battle in my opinion. Three, two, two. I mean, at least one of the best. Like you can't you can't get better than that. Oh no! No! And another one of the best Beyblade battles was Season 1, Vault vs. Shu, like, uh, Region Finals or whatever, like, their City Finals. That was crazy hype! And Vault almost beat Shu! I think Vault got closer to beating Shu than he was beating Louie. It's so funny how Louie, he never loses. It seems like Louie has main character powers because he literally never loses. Until, until God at least. He didn't lose any in uh, Duel Lair era. It's funny, they hyped him up so much in Duel Lair era, and then he uh, beat Vault in the finals of the national tournament, but in Chose, or not Chosetsu, in us, uh, Beyblade vs. God, he wasn't, he didn't play that big of a role. Like, he just kinda, he just kinda lost to Shu, which was kinda cool. Oh, oh, and the winner is Fubuki, of course. Emperor Fornius, 3, 2, 1, go. Now, Fubuki's old combo. Honestly, Fubuki as a character, Get, get, get Rex, get Rex. He, he couldn't survive. Get it? Hilarious. I know, I know. Are you guys down for the puns? Uh, they, I know, they make zero sense. I, I, the door's over, the door's over there. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be leaving. Oh my gosh. These puns, they're so bad. Oh my gosh, save the stupid stadium Fordius. What is wrong with you? I used to really like Fordius when it came out, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I think I was engulfed by the hype because I don't think it's that cool. I mean, I really like the character. I really like what he does in the anime. And actually, I think Fordius might still be my favorite. It's either Fordius or... No, I think I, I definitely think AG Double Hockey 6 album is probably my favorite Chosetsu Bay. Probably everyone's favorite Chosetsu Bay. Because just look how cool it is. And it hops around the stadium. It's just awesome. It's Sugoi! Sugoi! And I think it's a, only the second Chosetsu Bay to have like kind of a gimmick to it. And of course, you need your seal burst. Oh my gosh. This combo again is so bad. Like down, not competitive. Jaeger, you need your seal, definitely not competitive. Unite, maybe competitive. I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep on going though. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Here we go. Fubuki, Fubuki, Futon, go. Shoot. Go. 
Oh, dude, he gets hit, he gets hit. Have you guys seen My Hero Academia? Dude, I'm watching that right now, and it's such a good anime. If you guys aren't watching it, what are you doing with your life? Go watch anime, or if you, ha if you don't watch anime, go watch that one. That, that can be your start to anime, because it's such a good anime. It's like a really good story, really good characters, really, really good art style, and like the animation's awesome. Oh my gosh, come on, Jaeger, you gotta win one battle. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't seen uh, My Hero, go check it out. Everyone loves it, everyone has seen it. I haven't seen like, only only one person told me bad things about it, but like overall, most people really like it, so I recommend that anime. Three, two, one, go. And let's be honest, uh, Todoroki's so overpowered. He's the best character. Best character, Todoroki, or if you guys haven't seen season two, uh, spoiler alert, but there's this guy, he literally, his power is he can copy other people's quirk. Which, that's crazy! Like, what the heck? He can copy other people's quirk? That's so overpowered! And the only limit to it is he can only do it for 5 minutes after touching them. That means- Oh my gosh, that Yard has such good life after death. That means that all he has to do to be, like, a hero is he just has to get a gang of really strong people with really strong quirks to work with him. And all he's gotta do is touch them. And he has all of their powers! It's so overpowered. Anyway, so yeah, last battle. Winner takes all. So, I guess winner- Actually, should I do that? Because Emperor Fornius has been demolishing. I guess whatever, winner takes all. Maybe maybe Jaeger can pull something off with a counter break or something. Counter break, Jaeger, you just seal. Now! That so hype, guys. Like, look at that Unite forever. Look how much it's moving. Oh my gosh, I've never seen Unite move as quickly as this. Actually, is it gonna win? Is it gonna have more stamina? No, no, Emperor Fornius has a lot of life after death with Yard. I think it has. Yeah, Emperor Fornius won. So yeah, the winner of this battle is obviously Emperor Fornius because he's the Chozetsu version and the newer version of uh, Fubuki's made. It's the upgrade version. Of course he's gonna win. It wouldn't make sense if he won. I swear, if Jaeger and Yijis go be Emperor Fornius, there's something wrong with that. So yeah, remember to rip, subscribe. If you want to see more battles like this, where uh, it's their new Beyblade versus their old combo, I think... Uh, HG Double Hawk is like Salamander, also uh, old combo revealed when he versed Louie back then. So yeah, if you want to see a video on that, leave a like. And see you guys later, left burst out.